All right, let's jump into this. So this is your starting nutrition plan. So I'm just gonna kind of go over this list, how to use it, or even if you don't wanna use it, but just really your starting steps, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is throughout the next few weeks, based on you doing what you're supposed to do, I'm gonna show you how to 100% customize the, your nutrition plan 100% to you, uh, all the way down to the, to the macronutrients of carbs, uh, fat and protein and then you could use that for the rest of your life and so the reason why we do it this way is the biggest mistake that most gyms or trainers do is you'll go to you go to them you'll pay some money you sign up they give you a nutrition plan that looks very similar to this something you could just literally find on Google and they say all right follow this and you're gonna lose weight so what do you do you start following it because you paid a lot of money and you're really motivated at the moment. So you follow it and you follow that for maybe three weeks, six weeks, maybe a little bit longer. But then what always happens nine out of 10 times, everybody falls off, slowly starts falling off the nutrition plan, slowly starts getting their weight back and it's twice as hard to get back on it and to lose the weight again. And so you blame yourself for not being disciplined enough to follow this nutrition plan. The trainer blames you for the same thing and we're stuck, right? And so the reason why it didn't work is not because you weren't disciplined or anything like that. It's because you're given this perfect fitness person's nutrition plan and you don't want to be this perfect fitness person. And even the trainer themselves don't even follow this every single day. Yet they're telling you to do that, right? You're not going to eat chicken and rice every single meal. You're going to have to learn how to enjoy the foods that you actually enjoy and incorporate that into your nutrition plan. And so that's the whole purpose that I'm going to show you over the next three weeks on how you can do that to yourself. Okay. So when it comes to this plan, what you're seeing right here, I'm going to explain it. Uh, these are the best foods to eat just as far as digestive system and as far as results, but you could not follow this at all either. I, this is just here, just literally for you so you can have a guidance and to make it a little bit easier in the beginning steps. Um, I recommend at least the first week to follow this plan. That way you could really get the most out of it. But again, you don't have to, and I'll explain how you could do that uh, how you want, okay? So here's a healthy protein list. Uh, it's all basic foods, chicken, turkey. So if you don't like anything on this list, you don't have to eat it. <clears throat> so for example, what I currently eat off this list is really chicken I eat turkey um, I'll have fish occasionally uh, eggs egg whites Greek yogurt and protein shakes those are my main things off this list uh, fat same thing I normally have peanut butter and avocados and then for carbs I eat everything carbs are amazing and then veggies okay and if you want just kind of a guidance on how to use this, here's a simple way. So breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. What I always recommend for absolute beginners, have two protein shakes a day <clears throat> and three solid meals a day. Uh, so wake up, start eating, eat about every three hours. And that's just guidance. You don't have to do that at all. And by the end of the three weeks, when you have your total macros and your calories, you could eat however you want. All that matters is at the end of the day is that you hit all of that stuff, okay? Uh, down below and uh, other modules, there's uh, supplement recommendations. If you want some supplements, uh, go ahead. i show you how to order the same exact ones that I personally use. If you have your own brand, that's fine as well. I've just been using these for 10 plus years. It's what my clients use and they taste amazing. All right, so here's how to really use this plan. Number one, so what to eat? So everything you eat, so you could eat off this list or you could choose your own foods. The main thing is you have, it has to be trackable. Uh, so as you saw above, there's MyFitnessPal. You could use that app, it's easy. If there's other apps you wanna use, that's e you can as well. But you, every single thing you eat this week is you have to track it. And I'll have kind of a checklist down below as well, as, as well as this PDF that you could uh, use as well, all right? When it comes to portion sizes, biggest question people ask, how much uh, should I eat? As much as you normally eat. So the best thing to do when you come into this, try to forget everything you think you know about nutrition. The biggest mistake that people make when they start a new nutrition plan, whatever it may be, is they think that healthy eating is eating less. And that is not it at all. 
you just eat how you normally eat what i suggest is just choosing the better foods but in this case week one eat when you're hungry stop when you're full don't stuff yourself don't starve yourself and just track everything if you do that then in week two when we start the customization process it's all going to make sense for you so week one is all about data we just want to see what you're currently eating that way we could customize it to you and that way it is maintainable in the long run okay uh, so when it comes to portion sizes who cares just eat how you normally eat stop eat when you're hungry stop when you're full don't stuff yourself don't starve yourself now here's the key for the first two weeks uh, preferably if not longer uh, at least the first week come on do not eat out and do not drink alcohol and again this is because we need to collect data that way we could customize the nutrition plan 100% to you you will be able to eat out and you will be able to drink alcohol there's even videos down below uh, in the same portal that will show you how to do that but at least for the first week preferably two weeks uh, if you go longer the greater do not eat out do not drink alcohol and the main reason for this again is because we want to collect data we want to see what proper calories do to your body that way we could customize it together if when we eat out we never truly know what we're putting into our body uh, because we don't know how they're cooking it all of that stuff and when we drink it just does weird stuff to our body so no eating out no drinking alcohol for at least the first week preferably two weeks when we start the customization process after that you could do you uh, and then again just remember this is not your forever plan like we're gonna teach you how to eat whatever you want and still get the results that you want and it's gonna be absolutely amazing so just a quick summary everything you eat make so right, this says make sure it's off the list all that matters is that it's trackable if it has a barcode if it has things and you could track it into the app then do it the only things that you can't track is like if you go out to eat like at a restaurant or fast food or anything like that but if you're on the go and you buy like a wrapped thing that has a nutrition label on it you could track it okay uh, so everything you eat just make sure it's trackable um, weigh it on a food scale so like if you choose off the list and have chicken whatever it may be make sure you wait so you know exactly what you're putting into your body uh, if you drink anything that has calories make sure you track it uh, do not eat out or drink alcohol and then together over the next three weeks we're gonna really show you how to customize it 100% to you okay so this is it's really simple week one's all about data eat when you're hungry stop when you're full and track it if you do those things you cannot mess up this week it doesn't matter what your weight does if it goes up if it goes down it doesn't matter week one is all about data all right get after it